Hello. This will be a solo go solo gameplay video for Freedom the Underground Railroad. I'm going to be playing the easier way, which means that I'm just going to have to uh, get five slaves into Canada, and I can't lose any more than 12. If I was playing the harder way, I'd flip it over and you could see that I'd have to do seven and couldn't lose eight. Pretty much have everything in order. Um, I haven't set my cards yet <clears throat> for the abolitionist queue. Um, so the first one I have is the Liberator. I have the Fair and Riots, which is one of the opposition cards, which is one of the ones against me. I have the personal liberty laws. Levi Levi Coffin. And Theodore Weld. <clears throat> so to start off, I'll be in the period of uh, 1800 1839. Uh, you start off with uh, eight dollars to kind of help you get through it I'm going to be using the conductor for the uh, slave movement basically and then you also have a an ability that you can be used uh, that you can use once per game so that's what I'm going to play so to start off we'll have the uh, slave catcher phase So the blue slave catcher is going to be moving three in the white direction. So as you can see, possibly there's a white on this this way and then black going back the other way. So for three, I'll take him over here, which is also the end of um, his track as well. So with that, now you can't see the other side of the board because this is a large board. Um, but there's some tokens and stuff that I can buy. I can get up to two of them. With the main ones being these conductor tokens, uh, which are going to help me be able to move the slaves. Um, they're costing me $2. And then I can also take one of these, which is the uh, fundraising token. So I will take the fundraising token, and then I'll pay my $2 to take one of the uh, movement the conductor uh, tokens for my two and that right there was the planning phase so then as I go into the action phase I'm going to be able to uh, play either one of my conductor and or a fundraising token and then I can play a second conductor and or a fundraising token I can buy and resolve on uh, one of the abolitionist cards which were the cards that I showed you and then I can um, gain the benefit of my roll card or I could use my roll cards one time special ability I could also pass if I wanted to to make it to where I didn't do anything at all I just passed my action phase and then for right now being in the first period um, I'd be able to get three dollars if I was in the second period, I'd be able to get $4, and then if I was in the third period, I'd be able to get $5. So, right now, I think uh, so I can get some money together to buy my support token, I'm going to start moving some out of, um, out of the plantations. So I'm going to move, use my uh, conductor token, move three of them. I'll move him here into Charleston. So these right here are just the pictures of the plantations. They're not actually spaces. The spaces actually don't start until out over here. And then we have uh, smaller cities and then we have bigger cities that can hold more people. All right, so that's one. And then I'm going to move this one here, which is uh, on the track for 
this slave catcher, so he's going to move towards me one. And then I'm going to move the other one here for three. So I've done all I can do uh, for my conductor token, but my um, abilities are that I can also move two slaves one space each during the action phase. And I also get one dollar during the action phase. Everybody pretty much gets one dollar during the action phase. So with my, I have two more that I can move. So I'm going to move one here. And then I'll move one here, which is going to move that catcher towards me. So that's going to end the action phase. Then we have the slave market phase. So these basically show you your turns. So as you can see, I have four of them that are getting ready to come in um, onto the plantations. And I do have space for them since I was able to move some out. Um, that also tells you what turn you are. You can't run out of the slave market cards. And I think I'm going to put another one here. Okay, so now the Liberator goes off for the uh, Lantern phase, which is going to be discarding cards. And because I'm playing two players, um, two of the cards are going to be falling off. And then I also have the Farron Riots, which are coming off too, which tells me that I have to remove from the game the top conductor card uh, token and the fundraising token from the current period column. So that would have hurt a lot, but I actually took that fundraising token before it went away. But it makes it to where I now only have one conductor token that I can that I can buy, and uh, it's resolved when removed, which is why I have to do it now. So now all the other cards are going to slide down, and then I will get two more cards into the abolitionist queue, and I get this one, another opposition card, the 1850 compromise. So now my fundraising is going to bring in two dollars less than it normally would and it's going to remain in effect until I remove it from the queue and then the next one is the Ohio River which is actually not too bad of a card okay so now we'll have the slave catcher phase again so orange will move one over the black. It's going to go one here. And now let's see what do I have. I've got one. Okay. So I'll spend my two dollars again to take that uh, conductor token. Now one thing with these conductor tokens, the ones which are blue, is those ones will always be there. So after I get done playing it, it ought to, it'll go back onto the board and it can be bought again. So that way I always have some conductor tokens that are going to help me out to be able to move. So I'm going to buy that again. Uh, there's nothing else for me to get as far as tokens are concerned. I can't uh, buy the support token which costs $10. So I'll move into the action phase. So with the action phase, I get my dollar again. I can move three, one space. So I'll move one here. Which is going to move him here. Move him here. Which is going to draw him in again. That's two. Then I think I'm going to move him here for three. So that's all of my movement as far as that's concerned. So now with my regular action, I can move two, one space. And off my last one, 
I forgot about the slave market card that needs to come in. So I have one that's going to be bringing in six. So the last two. is I'm probably going to move a couple out of the plantations move out of this one, it's going to move him over here and I think that'll be good okay then for buying a card, so I can buy one card. I think I'm going to spend my one dollar to buy the Levi Coffin card, which is going to make it that during my action phase I can ignore the movement of one slave catcher if they would capture a slave, then I get to discard this card. And then this particular one has the white border right here so this one means that I can put it in my reserve I can have one reserve card so I'll buy that one and I think that's all I'm going to do for right now so I'll move into the slave market phase, which is where I have four of them coming on. So I have those down. get my new card which is going to be another six all right and then the personal liberty laws I'm going to go away. The rest of them are going to slide down. My new cards will be the New York Manumission Society. And. Ugh, tough crossing which makes it so that slaves may not be moved into Canada through conductor tokens and it's in effect until removed from the queue luckily they're all still kind of back so that won't be too too hard uh, it's gonna make it to where I have two bad cards in my queue though so now we'll go back to the slave action the slave catcher phase Okay, so purple will be moving three black, which might be good. It's one, two, and that's the end of their road for them. So that's all that he could have done, was because, like I said, he reached the end of his track. So I'm going to have to spend my two dollars again to get my conductor tokens. I should say my one conductor token. And 
And that's all I'm going to do. So I'll move into the action phase. So for the action phase, I'm going to spend, well, I'm going to get my dollar for going to the action phase, but I'm going to spend it to get rid of the 1850 compromise, which is making it to where I'm getting uh, $2 less for fundraising actions. So because of the fact that I've gotten rid of it, um, I'll be able to get my full amount now. And I'm going to be able to move. I think I'm going to do my two for right now. Let's see what it does. I'm going to move one here. Just going to move him there. It's also going to move him here. And I'll move one right there for my second action. Then I'm going to use my fundraising token because I think I'm pretty much maxed out as much as I can be. And then I'll be able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars for everybody that's in the uh, green. So now I can move three, one space. So I'm going to move one here, I'm just going to bring him there, and then I'll move one here, oh actually that's going to give me a dollar as well, for moving into that space, and then moving him here, he's going to give me two dollars, so I have one more that I can move, let's see here, did I move him the one closer? And then I'm going to pay the one dollar. Let's see here. No, I'm not. I'm going to move one here. Just want to draw him over here. Because I've got one, two, I've got five slaves coming in from the market. One, two, three. So that'll, I've got space for him. So that's good. So I'll go back on the board. And I think that's it for my action phase. So now the slave market phase will bring these guys in. So I have one reserve space left. So I'm going to be getting tight. And then I'm bringing five, five more. We'll be heading our way. All right, and then I have the slave market phase going down. All right, so be, or I should say the slave catcher phase. With that little token, it means it's a free action. I don't have to do anything. So have, none of those guys are going to be moving. So now for the planning phase, five, three, five. So I have enough to be able to buy my support token. So I'm going to spend the $10 to buy the support token. Which is going to give me this little guy. And then that's going to make it to where I can move into the next phase, which is going to be the 1840 to 1859 period. Which was very good. I only had three cards left. So I'm going to take away the cards. Uh, I'll leave my conductor token since it'll still be available to me. And now I can use the new 1840 to 1859 tokens and cards are going to be used from now on. So with that, that means that I could buy 
the new token so I'm gonna buy uh, spend three dollars and I'm gonna buy the one that allows me to be able to move two of them two spaces although I have to drop off my other card I think I did that So my new card is going to be, which I don't think I did, with John Cal John C. Calhoun, which means that the northern cities bring in, bring in one less uh, than normal, uh, and it's in effect until it falls off, and I can't buy it. And the next one will be the Vigilan vigilance committees, which means that uh, when I buy this, every each player receives three dollars from the bank. Okay, so I did my planning phase, did that. now my action phase. So I can use my two movement for two. And I think I'm going to move this guy into Chicago for $2, but that's going to move him here, and he'll go here. I also get my dollar for being in the action phase. And then... I'm going to pay a dollar to make it to where he can go on the water. So for two, we'll take him into Boston for two dollars, which is going to move him back one. So that was both of those guys. Now I have my action of being able to move two one space. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna start losing some people here. So one. And then I'm gonna move him here into Detroit for two dollars which is going to move him back here and that'll be the end of my turn Oh, wait, you know what? No. I can buy and resolve a card as well. So I'm going to buy, spend my $1 to buy Ohio River. No, it's not going to be better. I'm not going to buy Ohio River. I'll buy the, the New York Manumission Society which is going to allow me to be able to purchase a token at a $3 discount because this is only, a th uh, Ohio River is only a 3 for 1 well this card will be able to allow, allow me to get this token which is the 4 for 1 so that will be the better benefit and because it's a brown one I have to do it now so I can move 4 1 space So, I'll move this guy one, this guy two, move him here for three, 
I'm going to get two dollars for him. And who else am I going to move? One last guy. I think I'm going to move. I'm going to move him here for my last guy, which is going to give me three dollars. But he's going to draw the guy into here, so he'll end up getting caught and moved back into the market. So that was the end of the action phase formally. So now the slave market phase. So now I have seven that are going to be coming in. So I'm going to be losing a bunch right now. So I'll put my three down that can go there. And then I'm going to be losing four. Not good to have lost that many, but sometimes it, it happens. So another six coming in. Okay, and then the lantern phase. So the higher river will be going away. The rest of them will be going down. Actually, and then I have to get rid of one dollar because of John C. Calhoun, who's bring made it to where Northern City's bringing one dollar less than normal. So I actually didn't get three dollars for that. I only got two dollars. So now I have uh, Henry Box Brown move one slave from any plantation to a large northern city with no effect. And the Lincoln Doug Douglas debates, which means I can purchase a token at a $3 discount. Not bad, not bad. And slave catcher phase. So purple will be moving three black. So he'll be going back. One, two, three, back to his start. Now, my planning phase. So, $3 and $3. So, I'm going to take one of my fundraising tokens. And then I'm going to buy for $3 the uh, 4 for 1 movement. That'll end that. So, I'll move into the action phase. So, I'm going to spend my fundraising token. And then I will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars. All right, now let's do some movement. So four for one.
I'm going to move him here for one dollar. That'll move him back here. So it's going to pull him back there. Move him here for two. Move him here for three. And then I'm going to move him here for my last. Wait, he already moved. So I'll pay a dollar to move him out onto the water for my last one. So this is going to go back on the board. And then my conductor can move two. So I'm going to move two out. All right, and so do I want to buy any cards right now? Yeah, I am going to uh, play a card or buy a card. So for two dollars, I'm going to buy uh, Henry Box Brown, which is going to make it to where I can move one slave from any plantation to a large northern city with no effect. So one out of the plantation to a large northern city. So that means that.